Brad, welcome to another edition of Coffee with Catapult. How are you doing today? I am doing very well. Uh, thanks, Daryl. How about yourself? Fantastic. Fantastic. Get ready to wrap it uh, up. Isn't it nice here in Vegas in the fall? Finally. Beautiful. Beautiful. Finally. Finally, finally cracked the code of 100 degree temp, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway. my goodness. Wow. It, it is uh, finally where it is a pleasure to sit in the backyard in the evening. The mornings are crisp and uh, I'm uh, enjoying getting out and walking uh, the neighborhood a little bit uh, during these uh, little different uh, times that we're in. And they are different. So yeah, it's nice to have better weather, at least not 114 and, and tough times. So we are definitely in some interesting times. And I know that you've got some things you want to share with the, the audience today. Uh, as it relates to wrapping up this year and, and what leaders should be thinking about? Um, yes. Uh, well, this time of year, uh, first of all, uh, is a good time to be thinking about next year. Uh, right. But uh, today's conversation um, really came to mind uh, for me, and it, it's regarding feedback. And it came to mind to me with a kind of a, a mistake that I made uh, and uh, a learning uh, that came uh, with it recently. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about it, uh, and I think it's, uh, it's good learning for other people in positions of leadership uh, such that uh, they, don't, uh, they don't make uh, the same mistake. Uh, and it really has to do with uh, valuing the work of others. And I, I think today, Daryl, we're, we're very quick uh, to respond, right? So if somebody uh, sends you something uh, and says, hey, could you provide me some feedback? And oftentimes our, our response is, looks good, looks great, thumbs up. Uh, and that's probably appropriate. Sometimes there's no corrective uh, action to be taken. That's a well-produced document. What that fails, though, to recognize is that the person who sent it to you might have spent hours, days, perhaps even weeks preparing this document to send to you for review, and you very cursorily, in two words, tell them it looks great. And I learned recently that that, that is diminishing. That does not make the recipient feel valued. It doesn't make their work feel like it contributed. And that's wrong. So, mm. you know, in this fast pace, respond to email, send a text, we're on Zoom, remote, whatever, we got to slow down a little bit and give thoughtful feedback, both constructively and when it's good, it should still be specific and well thought out. And show the, the author that you spent the time and the effort to really understand what it is that they assembled, uh, that you value their contribution to the organization and to the project, uh, and that you really actually did spend the time other than you gave it a cursory look and gave it a thumbs up. So uh, good learning for me. Uh, I saw this in another instance. Uh, I'm on the board of a directors of uh, a very fine firm, 25 plus year old firm. One of their associates is celebrating their 20th work anniversary. Mm. Pretty big milestone to work any place for 20 years, particularly in the year 2020, right? Right. <laughs> so um, the CEO did a great job. He wrote, you know, one page. These are the contributions that this individual made. They've been valued member of the team. The company couldn't be here without them. Probably 60 employees or so. A couple of them wrote a um, couple nice words. Some of them wrote congratulations. Some of them or most of them wrote nothing. And wow, 20 years, congratulations. And I'm thinking, how do we... How do we recognize that? Could we take, instead of 20 seconds, take two or three minutes and write to that person about how their contribution to the company has impacted you, what working with them has made for your work life, uh, and uh, how proud you are of their accomplishments, not only in time, but in contribution to the company and its constituency of clients and the community it serves. So I think there's some good learnings in taking a deep breath, seeing what's there, responding appropriately, 
and thoroughly and thoughtfully. And I think as leaders, it is incumbent upon us to do so. That's all I got, Daryl. You know, you brought up some key points. Uh, you know, going back to the first scenario, you actually just uh, dropped a, a, a weight of guilt on me because I think I just did that a couple of days ago in our project management system after our head of graphic design worked on a new design. And I gave her the, you know, it looks great. And then I gave, unfortunately, some, uh, some feedback as related to some things that I would have liked to have seen in it. And to your point, I went through, I didn't give her the same, I didn't give her the time of, of, Hey, I love this part. I love that part. I love that part. Here's what I'd like you to change. And I think that was, that's great feedback. And I'm going to actually go back to that particular instance. Cause it really did just happened a few days ago. Yes. And when you think about the 20 year comment, uh, you know, it's easy today in social media when, you know, the behavior we use in social media or text is not to write books, but when you're in the environment with this particular person, like you said, it's just being human. It's being empathetic. It's like seeing it through their eyes uh, of contribution because not only is it time commitment, right. it's continuing uh, contribution to an organization. And to your point, that commitment has affected other people in the organization. And like you said, uh, can you actually look at it from that standpoint, how that person has made your job better, easier, or more uh, fun to, to be in? So I think it's a good point. Absolutely, Daryl. You know, the rate of business uh, is traveling very quickly. Everything moves fast. And I think we're somewhat rewarded for moving fast. And what I'm suggesting uh, today and my learning is, is that sometimes it's uh, thoroughly appropriate to slow down. Makes a ton of sense. Makes a ton of sense. Brad, what you working on these days? You're coaching people virtually. You are uh, running a growing mastermind group of entrepreneurs and CEOs and leaders looking to accelerate the pace, rate, and sustainability of their growth factor. Where can people find you? Uh, well, uh, they can find me uh, on our website, of course, catapultgroups.com, or uh, they're welcome to call uh, anytime, 702-534-5555. We'll reach our office and uh, intern me. Be glad to uh, have a conversation anytime. Brad, it's been a pleasure having you again on Coffee with Catapult. Hope you have a great rest of the day. You too. Appreciate it, Daryl, as always. Thank you so much.